right, good morning, welcome back. Okay, like the title says, are your handlebars bent? Handlebars on your motorcycle, you're riding up the road, it feels a bit twisted. What's actually wrong? All right, let's start at the beginning. Okay, the first thing is don't panic. Honestly, so many people think straight away if the bike's riding slightly twisted, that it's a bent fork leg. It's virtually never a bent fork leg unless you've had a significant frontal impact. It is usually one of four simple, straightforward things that you can check. If you find one of them wrong, you can quickly and cheaply, virtually free of charge with some of them, rectify it and put yourself back to normal. So the first thing to check is the alignment of your actual handlebar in the top yoke itself. And that is free and takes a moment to just visually check. This is how you do it. Sit on the bike, then stand up with the bike upright. So you're looking down on your handlebar clamp. As you're looking down on it, take a visual line between the handlebar clamp and the top yoke. Now that's very easy. As you can see here with my Harley, that's absolutely dead straight. Now if it's not, then that is extremely easy to rectify because the clamp that holds the handlebars itself, they nearly always bolt through the top yoke. So if you look under the top yoke, there's two nuts under there. Just back them off a little bit, give them about half a turn and then get hold of the bars and you'll be able to straighten that quite easily. It can also help to loosen the clamp itself that holds the actual handlebar because they can shift inside the clamp. Loosen everything off about half a turn from its full torque and then you can shift those bars straight very easily. If necessary, stand in front of the bike with the wheel between your knees. You can straighten that up, nip it all up and you've done it. That's it. It cost absolutely nothing and took a moment. Now if that's straight and your bike's still riding a little bit twisted, then the next thing to check is even easier. That's the back wheel alignment. Yeah, the back wheel, weird. I'll show you what I mean. When I've done damage estimates for motorcycles in the past, it is the second thing I check after the fork clamp because most bikes at some point or another, they're gonna go down a pothole, they're gonna bop down a curb, they might even do a stoppy if they're a bit of a, a boisterous rider. Now those impacts on the back wheel constantly can knock out the alignment and it just needs to be checked every now and again. And if it is misaligned by more than a few degrees, that will cause the bike to crab up the road very slightly. Not so as you'd visually notice it as it rides past, but certainly if you're noticing it in the bars, it is therefore worth a check. So I'm not gonna to talk to you about how to check your rear wheel alignment. You know how to do that, it's very simple. I've got videos on it if you're stuck, but check your rear wheel alignment and get that absolutely bang on. And when it's something significant like this and you're trying to diagnose why your bars are twisted, well, don't just rely on the stamped marks on the swinging arm, get yourself a caliper, actually check the distance of the blocks from the back of the swing arm, find an accurate point of measure and do a really accurate measurement of your rear wheel alignment. If necessary, get a laser liner and align it along the top of the chain, whatever works for you best, but do that rear wheel alignment. Now, if you've done that, and that's absolutely bang on, and you've checked your handlebar clamp, and that's absolutely bang on, the next thing is the forks. Misaligned forks are definitely the most common reason for a bike riding twisted. Not bent forks, misaligned forks, which simply means that the pressure applied to squeeze the fork legs by these pinch bolts in the bottom yoke and top yoke has been overcome by an impact. Now that impact could be a drop. If it's fallen over on its side, the handlebar end hits the ground and then the, the wheel itself hits the ground. And you always know that because when you look at a bike after you've dropped it, very often you'll get a telltale little scratch on the front corner of your mudguard where it's hit the ground. So when the wheel hits the ground and the bar hits the ground, remember they're gonna be pushing in either direction. So they actually knock the forks out of alignment because you're twisting in two different directions at once and it just overcomes the grip of the yokes or triple trees. Now, once that happens, that knockout of alignment is very easy to rectify. I have a video on how to do that step by step. So I'm gonna leave a link underneath this video to that and you can have a look if you wanna do it. It's a great way to check if your misalignment is a simple, straightforward plunge up and down, put them straight back again, do them all up, job done. It's a very simple process. But if you've done that, you've done your fork alignment and it's absolutely straight. You've done your rear wheel alignment and it's absolutely straight. You know where I'm going with this. Done your fork clamp, absolutely straight but it still rides cockeyed. It's just possible the fourth and least likely thing has happened. And that is when it fell over, the bar impact has distorted or bent your handlebar. I'll show you how to check that. It's really easy. Okay, firstly, take the handlebars off. You need them off the bike for this. Then strip them naked. All grips off, 
all furniture off, everything. Once you've got just the metal bar itself, you need a flat surface, you can use a kitchen worktop. That's absolutely flat if you haven't got anything else. And with a flat surface, take the middle of the bars, the bit that goes in the clamp, press that down on your flat surface and then see if the two tips touch equally and they're straight. Holding that down, nice touch, nice touch there. What that means is that the center part of the bar here that goes in the clamp is absolutely parallel to the line between the tips of the bars and therefore they're dead straight. And that's easy, simple, lay it down, check each tip is straight. So therefore these built well chump handlebars are perfect, no problem at all. Let's check, got over here, a Renthal Street Fighter style bar. Check that one, hold the center part that goes in the clamp, down on the flat surface and roll the tips down. And on this one, that side's touching, but this side is slightly lifted. There's about, I don't know, a millimeter of gap on this side. And also what it means is when the two tips are laying down and you're not pressing on this centerpiece, as you can see there, the line along the center of the clamp is slightly lifted one end. And that distortion means that the line at the clamp is not the same as the line between the tips. So it's slightly bent to one side. And that isn't really significant enough to feel. A millimeter one end, I don't think you'd feel that, but it's there. So you can make a decision what you want to do. So they're okay, I'd use them in a pinch. However, these are the handlebars from my old Harley Davidson XR 1200. And it fell over in a van one day, which was unfortunate. Not much was damaged, except the lever was broken off one end. So that's where all the impact went. And watch, clamp, flat, down, lay the tips down, they've got a significant bend on one side. And when you lay the tips down, as you can see, that gap in the center, it's lifted significantly one end. Now, what that means is that this handlebar, or pair of handlebars, when I'm riding with them, they feel significantly bent to one way. And I tried everything. I did my rear wheel, I did my fork alignment, I checked the clamp along the top yoke, everything was straight. So the fear comes, I had to replace them, and that's why they're in my cupboard. Now the only reason they're still in my cupboard, and I never chuck these away, is because this is high quality stainless steel tubing, and one day I may cut this up to use it as raw materials for tubing. But as a pair of handlebars, these are finished. Because that brings me to the final point. If you have found that your handlebar is bent, can you bend them back again? What do you think? Right, obviously, no. Not in a million years should you repair or bend back a damaged handlebar. Throw them away, they're scrap. In fact, don't even put them back on the bike in their bent condition, thinking to yourself, oh, they're all right, they didn't bother me before. No, please replace them. Chuck them away. They are not fit for purpose because once they've been damaged, it's possible they've been weakened and they're a critical control item. So make sure you replace them. Now, the main dealer is going to charge you a lot of money for a new pair of bars. Harley Davidson, they really are the worst. You can pay £300 plus for a pair of handlebars, easy. And not even big ape hangers. We're talking just these bars I've got for the XR12, £290. Lots and lots of money. But there's a world of aftermarket options out there. There's Biltwell, there's Renthal, there's all sorts, and they're far more cost effective. But whatever the bill, please, just replace them if they're bent. Now finally, here's a challenge for you. Have a look at yours. What do you think? Does your bike ride a little bit off? Are you kind of happy with it? What about taking the bars off, lay them on a flat surface, and see? It's a simple check, and once you know they're absolutely straight, what a great peace of mind you've given yourself. And if you find them to be distorted, well then you know, and then you can do something about it. Something you didn't know about. Isn't that a benefit? Anyway, there you go. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps you in some way. Take it easy, ride safe, and I'll see you next time.